Well, welcome to the Javier Mendez podcast. It's been a long time coming. We have been uh, kind of out of reach for a little bit. We finally got internet back. In spite of the great big floods, how is life in the flood zone of Dubai? And we'll show a video of that in a minute, Av. <laughs> well, I was scheduled to, to leave for Islam's training camp yesterday night. <laughs> and uh, they said that uh, uh, the worst storm, storm in 25 years is coming. And to be careful driving outside, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm thinking, oh, well, you know. I'll make I'll make the flight. It's gonna be one of those deals. Well, um, you know, about mid afternoon, you know, the streets are flooded. My 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 apartment uh, street is flooded. Everything is flooded. I'm going. I don't think I'm gonna make it because the hardest rain's coming yet. They say it's gonna be three times more than that. So as a result of that, uh, my flights got canceled completely. I looked at the news or just Instagram, and you see almost. Every single place has been affected over here by, by the rain, you know, and the streets are blocked everywhere. Cars, I'm looking over my, 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 my room, you know, in the, in the apartment where I'm at, high rise, right? And I see all these cars stuck, you know, they're, 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 they're stranded because they, they couldn't get past the flood. And they, again, they conked out or whatever, the tons of cars and everything, bro, it's crazy. Never, I thought, never seen I, I this. I thought you had it in your, I, I, sorry to mean to kick off, I thought you had it in your Instagram, but you don't, so I'm, I'll show a YouTube version. No, of it. I didn't. I didn't show that part. I showed some stuff on my Instagram about the the airplane uh, being flooded. You know, the the flight Dubai. I put that on there, and I also put some of my apartment. You can see my apartment. Yeah, you can see right outside my apartment. But but the the other cars, like I'm talking, literally hundreds of cars are stuck, bro, and, and wow. just things get blown over. It was really really bad. I mean, people that they want to. Uh, look, I, I think there's a there's one in particular that's got almost a lot of things on there. It's really bad, really, really bad. And no, it looks and, as bad uh, as any flood in in Louisiana to Florida to anywhere else. You'll see a big uh, natural disaster, essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've never been involved in one in, in my history of life. I've never been involved in something like this. Never. This is the I, first one ever. And uh, I mean, you know, uh, the only good thing, and I'm not saying it's good, but because you know, human life is, is precious, you know, but uh, only one casualty and the poor individual, uh, his car flipped over and he drowned, you know, that's sad. But, but compared to what the damage it did, it could have been a lot worse, you know, so that, that part's sad, you know, a human, a human life is a human life, you know, and, and um, that, that doesn't make me happy. But uh, the, the fact that we only lost one life was, was a blessing. That is, that is crazy. How, how all that's going on there. But let's take a look at uh, what some of this looks like. This is kind of nuts. Let's see. They're across the world right now. This is in Dubai, which picked up a year's worth of rain in a single day. Think about that. Uh, they don't get a lot of rain, but when you get it all in one day, that is rough. It forced one of the world's busiest airports to shut down temporarily. Dubai picking up about four inches of rain in 12 hours. Now, four inches again, as I mentioned, a year's worth. That's crazy. Much of the that's that's just to give you a general idea. And then yeah, you get the airplane. That's, that's that's mild. That's mild. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing compared to what's out here. That you you showed a good thing of it, but that's nothing. Let me let me People, see. Car, cars cars are driving through that. We're talking about these cars are are submerged underneath completely. And you're talking Dubai Mall got hit. Dubai Mall. Uh, people were locked in Dubai Mall. They couldn't go anywhere. They had to stay because they wow. couldn't go nowhere. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. Wait, I'm gonna pull this up. So it's kind of hard to order pizza right now. Yeah, well, guess. actually, it's funny you say that. I had pizza. I had <laughs> pizza. I went, I went next door and had pizza. <laughs> <laughs> At least the pizza was there, right? So here's the one of the yeah. airplanes, right? That was my plane. Fly Dubai. That was it. That's the one I was supposed to be on to go to what? Russia. Yeah, that oh. one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And, and and then Habib says, Coach, tell the truth. Are you scared? And I said, Hell yeah, I'm scared. Yeah. I want to fly. Hell no, I'm not going to fly in that. <laughs> wow. That's called hydroplaning. Hydroplaning yeah. at its best. Maybe I, it was a cruise ship for me. A cruise to buy was what it was. <laughs> yeah. Basically, you might as well go get on carnival cruises to get to go see that. Yeah. Right? Even today, a lot, a lot of people were trying to get to places they couldn't go anywhere because the roads were blocked with water everywhere. 
it's a crazy thing when you get used to traveling when you want to travel, flying when you want to fly, driving when you want to drive, eating when you want to eat, and then the big monster storm comes in. And you're like, oh, we can't do what we were just doing that I wanted to do. It just goes no. away. Yeah, it goes yeah. away. Well, I live in a place that has had hurricanes before, so I always keep that in mind, you know. I'm always out looking at trees. Could that tree fall in my house? It's so different than, you know, living in California where I worried about nothing. An earthquake, okay, just don't fall in the hole in the ground. Yeah. Don't be on a bridge yeah, correct. When, the, when the ground starts shaking. That was the rules. So yeah, did, correct. You, did you watch UFC 300 taking all the highlights? No, I didn't watch UFC 300, but I picked every single fight correctly except Max Holloway. I got every fight. Right. Every single fight I picked correctly. I picked the winners. I could see where you were coming with that. I, it made sense because because he seems more like a punches and bunches guy, but he laid him out, but he also had him worn down because he did he did accumulate, you know, but you were yeah. expecting Gaethje to break his leg off with a kick or one of those no, clobber, no, clobber no, knockers. No, That's no, what I expected. No. Good. No, what I expected Gaethje to do is what, what God's given him in, in his wrestling, and he didn't use it one time, I heard. No, no. Uh oh, the pizza man must have come over to Javier's house. Was that was that the pizza I, man? Yeah. Did the pizza man come over and ring the bell, and then you went off the? <laughs> no, my my earpiece is going going dead. Oh, so, okay. Uh, so it's like my I don't got one. Can you hear me well? I can hear you well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just typical of us being uh, technical difficulties at all time. Every every podcast. We're that should best. be the name of it, Technical Difficulty MMA Podcast. The, the, yeah, the Technical <laughs> Difficulty Podcast, done by two knuckleheads. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, kids watching this, when you get guys your dad's age trying to figure out technology, this is what you're going to get. Not going to get all the cool hey, new yeah, stuff. Exactly. You know? Not the cool kids. We're not the cool kids. We were but, back but, in the uh, 80s. You know, yeah, but, uh, yeah. So, so the fights go through the recap because I tell you, I, I got things to say about certain one of them that I was impressed with. So, just pick the memorable ones. Oh, there, there's so I'll, many. I'll I mean, just I'll, I'll throw the other one. What I thought was interesting is I don't know if you saw the end of it or the highlight, but Sarukin was about to get choked out. Olivera had him. He just didn't have enough seconds, and he had him did, in a, did, in a locked yeah, on. Did you do you think that that uh, Sarukin should have lost because Oliveras? Was the more active guy submission attempts? He had three submission attempts, and and Sarukin was on top of him. But I heard that he wasn't doing too much. So do you reward the person for not doing much, but it's on top of you, or or you penalize the person because he went for submissions and almost had you out? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see the fight. I'll, I'll tell what you. you I'll, give, I'll give you my hard take. I will say that if you're going to measure it based on who's chasing who, the aggression they call that in judging. Or are you going to measure it on the, the attempts? I'll go for Oliveira. But the chasing, you know, more like trying to force his will, trying to burn someone out, you know, setting the pace was Sarukian. But I think Oliveira, he, he, he kind of like wrestle humped him, you know, and kind of warm, you know, just kind of blanketed him for a while with his wrestling on top of Oliveira. Then Oliveira get out. Then Oliveira get dangerous with the submissions. I think his submissions are more dangerous than Sarukian's. That's one yeah, thing I so, learned. So, so that's what I'm saying. Is so how do we? How do we? I mean, did 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 Charles almost get knocked out on his feet, or did he get beat up on his feet? Well, or what? I don't. I don't think it was that bad. I think a five round fight. I, I honestly felt if it went five rounds, I think uh, Charles would have taken it. That's okay, so point. so so basically, but I think that, so, that but he had enough. Charles, but Sarukin had enough to win up until, up until. So I'm not denying his victory. You could call it either way. If you did uh -huh. call for Charles, people would still have a great argument on the other side. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, I, uh, Charles said he thought he was out. He, he thought he was out. Yeah, he yeah. He looked like his body looked dead flat, man. Yeah, he said he thought he was out. Did the bell save him? or what? what the, the bell saved him. The bell? We're talking like 13 seconds in a guillotine, full bore, like total torque. You know, it was flat a Darce choke, stomach. wasn't it? A Darce, Darce, yeah. Choke? Front yeah. Darce, yeah. Yeah. So, so it, 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 the thing is to me, to call out to all this talk about I'm going to knock everybody out was just muted right there. You didn't finish Charles Oliveira. You didn't finish him. You know, he didn't look as good as Islam did against him. And to say that you're going to do that and you're a big threat to Islam, looking at where he is now, now that we get a, you know, styles make fights and, 
you know, time in the business, you evolve, you know, is also, Islam's also evolving too. And I don't think he's, I, I, I personally, and not because I know you and I know Islam that I'm picking this, I'm looking at it like I'm less afraid of him fighting Islam than I was some of these other guys. Yeah, to me, the guy, the guy out of all the guys that I thought was for us stylistically was a very dangerous out of all of them. I thought it was just engaging. Yeah. Stylistically, stylistically, you know, because of his wrestling, you know, pedigree and his striking is really good uh, and strong. And, and, you know, it's all it's all apples and oranges. Right. Because everybody brings a different skill set. So I thought that uh, we, you know, he he was the biggest threat for us. And now he's probably never going to be in the picture for us going forward. So no need to talk about him for us as a threat because he's never going to be there anymore. I don't think. Max Holloway. Possible, I don't think so. Max Holloway, he's definitely he's definitely in the in the in the talking circle. But I think personally, uh, I have to get by Dustin, and then after that, we're probably going to have to get by Sarukin. Mm-hmm. I think, and then then Max Holloway could be in the picture. Who knows? Max Max could possibly get. Uh, uh, Ely, Taporia, you know, so that might be the match they make there. It's, it's a good possibility. It's a good match. It's a good match to make between him and, and the Taporia, you know. He's, so he's leaning good. towards Connor trying to make the Connor fight because historically, but here's the thing, man momentum historically, right? Our channel has had historic momentum during the time that Habib was around. We we're getting views like, woo! And then at different times, we just died when he wasn't around the, the channel and yeah. different yeah. things, and right? So 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 let's look at, at at the business model UFC. If Connor's going to come in, does it mean it's the big enough payday as Ilya Taporia? I mean, Taporia could pull because it's recent, it's fresh. You know, I mean, Connor's big. It, 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 yeah, Connor's big, and also Taporia has to do one thing and to, to make it a big deal, to get Connor's attention. That's it. Because <laughs> he can want all he wants, but if Connor gets the idea that he wants this guy, then it's on and it'll be his biggest payday he'll ever make. You know, can he beat Connor? Absolutely. Can he beat Connor? So now I'm completely dead. Do you hear me? I hear you. Yeah. Okay. You can hear me well. Okay. So yeah. You can hear me? Completely dead. Yeah, I can hear you. So anyway, so, so, so that fight could work out. That fight could work out if Connor wanted it, not if the Pora wanted it. Everybody wants to fight Connor. Even the heavyweights don't want to fight him because you know what? Everybody loves money, you know, and, and he's the big payday. He really is. Whether you like him or hate him, I don't care for him, but he's the big payday. He really is, you know, so you got to respect that. And I do. I respect that by acknowledging that, that he's the big payday, you know, and and if he reforms and becomes back to, to the old self, he's going to he's gonna have a good fight with Chandler. But if he doesn't, he stays the old guy. You know, like he's been after after Habib, he's never been the same. But if he comes back, which is possible, he's not over the hill. He's still young, so who knows? Who knows what what kind of your game? One thing for sure, those guys are great marketers. Uh, Michael Chandler is a great marketer. It, it'll be a very very interesting fight that people want to watch because of the way Michael Chandler can also throw a promo. So you got two guys that know how to market. If he takes Connor out, do you think? And they're both going to throw a great fight. Do you think if he takes Connor out, it kind of like cuts the Connor horsepower marketing in half? Like the want to see, like does he go on the downward skid that some of the other former champions went on when they yeah, started losing? Yeah, it would def- it definitely hurt him. Yes, it would definitely hurt him. But but he's still a star, so it'll still he'll still pull numbers. But it definitely won't be as big. It, no, no way, no it won't be as big because but there's not still, a lot of what I think there's not a lot of what if anymore, right? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna pull one million plus uh, paper. Maybe even hit two million. It's hard to say, but he's definitely gonna pull one million plus. No doubt, no doubt. In my mind, he's pulling one million plus. He's, you know, he, he, everybody, every, he's got a big following, man. Got a big following. Another, another, so what about another Kayla big Harrison. Yeah, I was gonna about to say Kayla. Oh my gosh, what about Kayla Harrison? <laughs> she ran through Holly Holm like like uh, like no big deal, man. But what was the deal with, with Holly going and trying to grapple with her? I heard that she went and pummeled with her. What was she doing well, that for? Because she was up against the fence. I mean, she okay. Was probably, so she might have been trying to get out, but um, no, Kayla. She didn't Kayla, pummel with her? 
I'm trying to remember. All, all I know is that Kayla, she had, Kayla was saying that they were talking. I saw her in the Aero Hawani show, and she said, "Yeah, she pummeled with me. I was shocked. You know, she didn't expect that, and I and I myself wouldn't have expected that either. But is that was that the plan to give her a shock? No, it wasn't. wasn't. She said her. Said she said her whole game plan went out the window. She just was reactive the whole fight. Maybe she okay. was like, maybe she knew the end of an era was coming because Kayla is like so much more the fighter than Ronda. When you see Kayla, oh you're my like, God, well, she's so oh much my bigger God. too. Right? Look how big she is. She's a monster girl, man. Fit as hell. Fit as hell. She's very fit, man. And, and she is. Remember, she's a two-time Olympian too. Yeah, she's tighter. Her her mm -hmm. her, her stand up, her wrestling, everything was oh, by tight. far, by far, right. by far. Because I remember looking back to Ronda when she was a big star. It was exciting, but she was not as polished as Kayla. Yeah, Kayla, Kayla is her final product. Is Probably going to be on course to being the the the, the champion mm -hmm. at the, in the women's division. Probably, if the UFC is going to build it, they're probably going to give her the next title shot because they that's probably good marketing on their part. Because Kayla Harrison's only lost one time. She's eighteen and one. She's destroyed everybody. And the one fight she lost, she was on top and lost. So what happened there? Who knows? But she was on top and she lost the fight. Yeah, to Pacheco, if I'm not mistaken, and so yeah, I know she's she's gonna be the real deal. What about uh, my boy Bo Nichols? How did he look? You know what? He looked like he um, he's not as invincible as he's been built up to be. He looked like he struggled a little bit, but he still won. Yeah. He pulled it off, and Brundage was like the first guy with some wrestling to counter his wrestling. So certain people's superpowers look really big in the beginning. And he didn't look like half of himself. He just didn't live up to everything. Like we just figured he was going to dismantle his stand up. His stand up wasn't dominating Brundage by any means. No, and no. the wrestling didn't work as well for him. As easily, he finally got he finally got the guy. But Brundage was getting up and getting out of some of his stuff. He made him go longer than anyone else has, which tells me that the farther you go down the road, the harder it's going to be. Yeah, but he's also going to get better too as as he keeps climbing. He'll get better. Yeah, so but there's I, a big I, I there's a I, big hump. I'm not saying he's bad. I, I, I think he's great. I wouldn't I wouldn't be giving up on him just yet. Right. <laughs> you know? He's young and he's hungry and he believes he's the next star. And, and uh, I'm still I'm still on the train of him and and, and Ham, uh, Hamza it for for title fight down the line. I'm still well, on it, that. It, it, that fight gave Hamza room to talk smack because he didn't look so amazing. But then Hamza didn't look so amazing his last fight either. And actually, Hamza well, looked, looked like he could lose. Who Hamza fought. He fought one of the greatest welterweights of all time. Yeah, and yeah. Hamza probably would have lost that fight if the greatest had a had some training camp, in my opinion. Um. Well, yeah, maybe five rounds would have been the deciding factor if it was a championship fight, because right. you know, uh, you know, Kamara was was he was picking up at the fight. end. He was. Coming on strong at the end, yeah. Yeah, coming on real strong, yeah. So what about uh, what uh, uh, what the other one that was really good? Uh, Figueroa, Figueroa, was that a good fight? Him with uh, with uh, with uh, uh, the ex champ Cody Garbrandt. You know what? I don't even remember that one. I don't know if I okay. caught that one. I don't. Caught what about one. Jim Miller and, and and Bobby Green? Bobby Green diced him up, man. He had him. Bobby Green, like Jim Miller, started to look like he could have something, but then Bobby Green's boxing came alive, and he just decimated, tore his face apart, you know. Yeah. He quite a few stitches, huh? Yeah, he, he sliced him up. But uh, yeah. the Alex Pereira fight, ay, ay, ay. Just watch the highlight. That's the, that's the whole that's fight the right there. You know yeah. what? I, when I when I didn't notice, uh, and uh, my my my, uh, uh, my brothers over here, Sheck, uh, Maktoum and Rashid Hamdan, they they told me, Coach, did you see what he did? I said, What do you mean? And they said he he was pointing his hand out here, teach, touch, touch. He slapped his hand down and went an uppercut, then yeah, and that, the shovel hook. And I went, What? And I and I said, He did that. I don't remember that. And they go, Yeah, watch it. And I watched him. I went, Son of a gun. Man, he did exactly that. That was a beautiful move what he did. He, he tapped his hand, tapped his hand. He tapped it down and went up with that same hand and uppercut him. Uh, hook, <laughs> shovel, shovel uppercut. Like like it was an uppercut hook. Like it was pretty yeah, pretty impressive. That's what he killed, knocks everybody out with was that uppercut hook. We're going to give very, it a name. Very, powerful. Duck, duck very goose. Powerful. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very powerful with that. And this guy, now I heard he challenged uh, Israel Adesanya. Is that true? 
Uh, I didn't see that news. I know that he wanted to go up to heavyweight. Alex. Hey, you can't you cannot tell me he can't do it. You cannot tell me he cannot do it because the only person that he'd have a hell of a time with is is uh John Jones. That yeah. would be but but the other guys, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't I mean, think John Jones first, would want to get hit by this guy. He'd be yeah, the yeah, first yeah. three peak. He'd be the first one ever that done three weight divisions. Well, not only that, I mean, he also broke Ngannou's punching record by a huge margin. He did? Yeah. Admit, yeah. He went to that, that hitting thing. Let me see if I You're can kidding. find it. No, I'm serious. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That's yeah. impressive because Ngannou hit like crazy. He had crazy numbers. Yeah, he hit like a... Uh, um, he, he hit like a uh, they, they said it was a Ford Escort hitting you going like 45 miles an hour or something. Oh my gosh, <laughs> um, wow, now that makes sense. When I watch him hit the pads on his coach, bro, his coach looked kind of like, like, man, this guy's gonna break my face or what? You know, yeah. his coach is like worried a little bit, a little bit. You know, I'm sure the coach is good at holding, but but he looked a little concerned. I the way I saw him punch it, I'd be a little concerned too. It's just like being in baseball, having a world class pitcher, and you're the catcher, and your your hand is just getting broken by hundred mile an hour fastballs, and you're like, no, thank you, right? Yeah. Let me yeah. see if I can get this coming up YouTube over here. YouTube TV, try it free. Uh, Terms apply. Cancel yeah, I'm anytime. not worried. Okay, here we go. If your AC is oh. not working, call Gideon. Okay, no, well, Lynn, don't show it. Yeah. Don't show it. We'll get bombed. We'll get banned again. <laughs> We're not going to get banned anymore. We're already banned. <laughs> I know, but they'll ban us again. They'll give us another three months. Whatever it is, right? They'll yeah. send us into uh, whatever that yeah, place is. Yeah, because that's their footage. That's their footage. If we show it, they're going to yeah. hit us again. They'll do that. That's true. So I need, um, I need my I need my $50 a month. <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, people don't know. We did this. It's almost 200,000 subscribers. You know, it's been growing, and we haven't even been showing up for class. And it's almost, it's at 194,000. <laughs> All that hard work you did. And I did two years ago. It's still paying dividends. Amazing. Uh -huh. Isn't that funny? Thanks, so, guys. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for re-watching the videos 10 million times. Yeah. You get over, you get yeah, over 100 yeah. million views on this channel, by the way. We got yeah. over 100 million views. Oh, yeah. And when I got paid a couple thousand dollars, that's pretty yeah. good. Isn't that, isn't that good? <laughs> it's We're doing great. And we, have, yeah. and we have no sponsors. Great now, job, Lynn. Number uh, one. We're not in it for You're the money. One. We're in it for the MMA. We, we got the best. We got the best visual. We got the best audio. Right. <laughs> we're, we're the best. We, we're premium. <laughs> we're, we bring it. This is a, the, as you guys know, we're being sarcastic, because if you believe that we believe that, and then we'll get some trolling comments. We don't believe that. But uh, <laughs> so so you you were supposed to be out training with Islam and because Islam's going to fight coming up. Yeah. 48. How, how do you feel about that? What are your thoughts? Moving. I love that fight. I love that fight. Uh, Dustin is a great competitor. He had a great last fight with uh, the, the guy from France and uh, Gamrot, right? Is it Gamrot? No, 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 no. Um, no, well, the, the other Saint guy. Denis. The other guy. Saint Denis. Yeah. 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 Ben the mercenary. Benoit. Benoit, 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 right? Benoit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. Gamrot's the other guy. Benoit. Yeah. He had a great fight with him. Um, I mean, it was a nice KO, bro. So I don't know. I like, I like, I like Dustin. I mean, he kind of reinvents himself all the time. It's like you think he's on his last legs, and he comes back and does something like that, spectacular. Uh, I love that. And I know Sarukin was asked to take that fight, but Sarukin uh, said no. He needed more of a training camp. And I kind of thought that was probably going to happen. And then when when um, Justin Gagey also said if he won the fight, he would refuse it also because, you know, he usually after after a fight, he takes some time off. The and turnaround time. They're like. The fight. Yeah. So so they didn't offer it to Max Holloway, which I would have no problem with Max Holloway. I, I have no problem with anybody they give us. To be honest with you, I don't care who he gets. He's probably, as, probably as, number as one. Max, has Max trained at your gym? No, never. He knew never. Pops. I never, he knew uh, Pops. I, he might have. Nope. Nope. I don't think so. He did. I, don't think so. I was there when he got a phone call from him. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Well, I I don't know. I I've, I've never been. That's uh, why I. That's why I asked. I go. Oh, okay. So Javier's yeah. trainer knew him. It was the. Yeah, uh, but not me. Other, I know yeah. him. I know him like everybody knows him as. A, I'm a fan of his, but other than that, I mean, I've talked to him a couple of times, but I don't know him. DC and him are are really close, but not me. 
I'm not close to him. I don't, I don't, I don't have his number. I don't have nothing, but I'm very happy for him. He's a great, great guy, great competitor. What a, that's a, that's a warrior, man. What a, He's what deserving a of a hundred percent of everything. Oh my there's God, no, there's yeah. no hate. He's a, congratulations, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, no, Islam, Islam with, with, with Dustin is a great fight. I love the fight. And also in the, the semi main, it's uh Strickland, right. Versus, uh, is it uh, uh, Strickland versus uh, the Brazilian? What's his name? I gotta look that up. I think it's it's it's, it's uh, with the what's him called uh, uh, Strickland versus uh, uh, the, the nice, the real tough Brazilian fighter. What's his name? God, why am I forgetting his name? We shouldn't forget his name. <laughs> Don't worry. Costa, Paulo Costa, Paulo Costa. Paulo Costa, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Strickland. That yeah, they're right under that card. And Jailton Almeida is going to fight Alexander Romanov, and Roman Doldiz is going to fight Anthony Hernandez. That's a good. That's a good, card. That's a good fight card. Yeah, good Grant fight Dawson. Card. Yeah. So very this, good this fight. Is, you're going to be in Jersey for this, man. Yeah, yeah. We're heading out to Jersey uh, soon. You know, um, so I'm going. I'm going to Jersey from from uh, Dubai to, to head out. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's your next. This the moment that the flood is gone. Yeah, I was I was headed to Russia, but now I'm not. Now I'm going to head head out to to uh, to New Jersey. We'll be headed out there. Get a few slices in. Try some of that good Italian food. They got good, <laughs> they got good Italian food, man. You'll yeah. be like, ah, oh, mamma mia. Next time I see you, you'll be well. You'll New be... Jersey is basically New York, right? I mean, we're really yeah, talking yeah. about New York, right? It's really it's really New Jersey's New York. So yeah, I'm heading out, and I'm looking forward uh, to going. You know, so it'll be nice. It'll be nice to see the guys and, you know, get into some good training habits and see where Islam is at. I'm sure he's ready to go. He's a professional. He fights anybody. He doesn't choose his opponents, whatever. He does choose when he can fight, though. You know, when he's available, he, he's going to fight when he's ready. But, but he doesn't care who he fights. He shouldn't. When you're the champion, it's, you shouldn't be picking your opponents. You fight whoever they tell you to fight because you're the champion. Yeah. And uh, that's where it's at. That's where we're at with him. All, all Team Habib, all my guys, we, we fight whoever they offer us. But that doesn't mean we fight when they want us to fight because you never know. Circumstances uh, uh, sometimes prevent you to fight when they want you to fight. But the promotion has to take care of themselves. They have to look at what's best for them. You know? But the fighter also has to take care of themselves. And look, if they align perfectly, then they'll do it. If they don't, they won't. It's just like uh, Sarukin when they told him if he wanted uh, to fight with Islam. He said, no, he wouldn't be ready. Well, he has a choice, and his choice was not right now. But everybody understands that. That's the way the, that's the, way the fight promotions work. Well, it'll be interesting. I guess you guys are going to find a gym over there, and you're going to get some uh, early, early a month in over there on the East Coast. Yeah. No point in training for it at AKA. The time zone difference doesn't help. No, no, time zone's different. It doesn't make sense. Uh, it makes perfect sense that he's in New Jersey. Stay there. Yeah, it does zero sense to go to San Jose. And then what about what about your your Bellator fight coming up too? Is that going to be Usman, a tight, uh, Usman? Usman, Usman will be going. Uh, he'll be going uh, May May uh, May seventeenth uh, to Bellator. You know, and uh, you know we'll see when I go there. But it's like you know one shot there and back. It's no big deal. So it's kind of a, a tight, a tight turnaround for you. I mean, this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be going there. Oh, that, that's going to be before this. So yeah, you might fly this, over I'll to France. There. You'll yeah. fly. I'm you'll going, fly to I'm New Jersey. To the, yeah, I'm going to the U.S., but from there I'll go. I'll go to France to, to for his fight. Okay, makes a lot of sense. It all cool. works. It all works. Yeah. yeah so, that. My biggest one is I want to know what Umar's fighting. You yeah. give us a great. That's the one you're waiting for, right? Yeah, I want him to win the title this year. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of throwing the good juju bees like, like they put seeds in the clouds. I'm putting Umar for title in the clouds. <laughs> they must have dumped too many seeds out there because obviously that that weather's got you stuck. But oh hopefully, my gosh, <laughs> hopefully you're in Jersey in a couple of days. Uh, yeah, I'll be. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be there. And, you know, enjoy enjoy Jersey weather. I'm sure that the weather is not cold anymore so that'll be good oh jersey shore it's pretty man it's nice this yeah. time of year it's a yeah. it's, it's a good area have you spent any time there before yeah yeah we've had fights before we've had we've been there the khabib before. fight the khabib fight you were out there right yeah i've been many many times i've been there before that though oh they had a big atlantic city and yeah yeah okay i get it yeah there's fight fight capital there yeah yeah 
That's awesome, Hav. So looking forward right. to seeing you back in the States. Thanks yep, for tuning also in. Also, too, you know, I'm going to start putting it out there. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm started my book that, uh, that I'm doing. And uh, my book is not going to be about coaching. It's going to be about coaching, what I use in coaching to coach people in life for kids and, and, and parents, abuse and everything. I, I've dealt with this my whole life. I've, I've helped many people in different areas, and it's not just fighting, but I use my coaching uh, tactics in, in, in real life for people to, to function better in life, to do better in their lives. So I'm very excited about that. So so it's coming. It's coming. It's going to be a great so, book. It's a special book from one of the greatest coaches of all time. I can brag on your behalf. Uh, 22 world champions and variety of organizations, maybe even more than that. Now we haven't counted in a while. Just been throwing around 22 for a while. Maybe it's 23 <laughs> or 24. I don't even know. I don't right. know. But, it's, but it's I mean, that's a lot. Of, right. It's not just it's not just MMA. It's just kickboxers too. So different, yeah. different, different. That's awesome. But well, like, and, like and subscribe, everybody. Follow Javier at AKHav on Instagram, and we will see you soon.